Why are all pouch sprats brown? An interesting question, asked by one of our Facebook group members, which today we will delve into and explain. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos. We all know pouch sprats are brown with a flash of grey, but why, unlike their fancy cousins, are pouch sprats not found in other colours? Well, let's get our science hat on for a minute. The colour of both fancy and pouch sprats are caused by pigment in their hair. Let's explore the basic two colours, and what causes them. There are two pigments which cause colour, eumelanin, which is responsible for black and brown, and theomelanin, which is responsible for red and yellow. The wild colour of both fancy rats and pouch rats is called agouti. Agouti controls the distribution of pigments in the hair and causes hairs to alternate between bands of black and yellow causing a brown while also causing the pigment to change further down the body. For a rat to be a solid colour, otherwise known as self, rather than agouti, both the agouti genes must be switched off, because agouti is a dominant gene. This is how it works. This is Dave. Dave has one faulty agouti gene. You can visualize agouti as two switches, each a gene, passed on by one of its parents. If both switches are on, then the animal is agouti. However, should a genetic flaw appear in one of the genes, either passed on by its parents or by mutation, one of these switches is now off. Agouti is strong and can cope perfectly fine with just one switch. The animal is still agouti, but carrying self. We know that when mating, one gene has passed from mum, and one gene from dad. So Dave becomes a daddy, he has a 50% chance of passing on his faulty agouti gene to his children. Half get his good gene, and half get his broken gene. Mom doesn't have a broken gene so she can only get working copies. We use what's called a Punnett square to visualize this. A faulty recessive gene is represented by a lowercase a, while the non-faulty dominant gene is represented by a capital A. All his children are agouti, just like mom and dad, as they all have at least one switch on, but half of them now have Dave's faulty gene, with one switch off. This is one of Dave's sons, Trevor. Trevor, finds himself a doll of his own. She also has the same, faulty gene. Maybe it's his sister. We won't judge. So now both parents have a faulty gene, they could, give to their babies. 25% of Trevor's babies have both switches off. So what does this mean? We have some self babies. Let's use a Punnett square again. So now we have a mix of outcomes. In the wild, with the 25% self babies have a greater or lower chance of surviving to pass on these genes. Lower. Sorry guys. As pets though, these rats would have a greater chance of surviving and passing on their genes. But how does this tie in, with pouched rats? Rats have been bred by humans since the 18th century, but the fancying of rats has been commonplace since the early 1900s. For pouched rats, having not been kept as pets for very long, means there has been less of a chance of these random mutations cropping up. Also remember, when you double up on faulty genes, as you can see, like different colours, you can also be doubling up on other not so nice genes such as tendency to develop cancer and other health problems. For this reason, line breeding is not common with pouch rat breeders and, as a consequence, neither are fancy colours. Thanks for watching our video which touched on rat genetics, we hope to have more good quality videos coming soon. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe and join us on our Facebook group or join our society. Thanks for watching.